<laughs> All right, let's move on. All right. Next subject. All right, it says... Uh, we 0 for 2 right now because they both got weird. Yeah, they both got weird. <laughs> I didn't start preaching. <laughs> I I start talking Back about when it. I was a Jehovah. <laughs> he talked himself off the ledge. Marcus Houston. Uh, <laughs> brother from IMX. Start having flashbacks. <laughs> I was like, God damn. Like door, 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 door. Wake me up. Wait before you go. Door, 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 door. The best part of waking up. <laughs> no more like <locked> door. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, man. It says, Drake really got a Kim Kardashian lookalike for the cover of his new single, Search and Destroy. Is this nigga Drake? He's cut, He's hey, kicking man. the beef back off hey, again, man. Does hey, just doesn't hey, stop, man. He don't you know, care. You know, he the king of subs, bro. But to have... That's a song that he he uh, he debuted on his shit, right? Where he used her audio? Yeah. Audio of her talking about, like, divorcing him. I mean, but if he, he probably got her consent to use it because she could sue for that shit. But still, if y'all done had this concert and squashed y'all beef... Then, nigga, you yeah. take the audio that's of your ex wife. They didn't squash that shit. Oh, that's probably a fake Kim Kardashian? No, it's just like the eyes. It's the but eyebrows. is that a real Kardashian? No, but it's like a look like they're saying. Oh, okay, okay. Off the eyebrows? I mean, he used her voice in the fucking song. I didn't come audio. this far just to come this far and not be happy. Can't make a clip out of this, obviously. Okay, remember that. You didn't come this far just to come. Play the audio, okay? Make a clip. That's a little bit. Drake still hurt. Oh, gotta be less than seven seconds. That was less than seven seconds, right? Yeah. Hell no. Drake still, that was. Drake still hurt, man. I thought they squashed that whole shit. I thought that's, that's what, what I thought, too. Oh, they didn't squash. Yeah, he yeah. said it in that album with the, uh, oh, with 21. He said he only did it for, uh, yeah, Drake he said Lincoln with did it for the Ops only shit. did that shit for Jay Prince. Man, I, that's but, crazy, though. They, um. He is not going to stop taking shots at Kanye ain't been off the grid lately. Right. Kanye ain't even worried about He'll take shots. He been taking shots at, Drake takes shots at everybody, man. When he dissed Venus' uh, husband, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, cuz, really, nigga? No, why nigga Kanye said, uh, what'd he say? Uh, uh, Jonah Hill made him like Jewish people again? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? That nigga, and then Seth Rogen, I want to find this shit right now. That's the first post in God knows how long he could. Nigga, Seth Rogen was laughing so hard. I just watched 21 Jeff shit. Hold on. You just... <laughs> Hold on, we find that shit. Seth Rogen. Here we go. So Seth Rogen is kind of taking slight ownership for curing Ye's anti-Semitism. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So during an interview with Cinema Blend to promote his new film, The Super Mario Brothers Movie, Seth Rogen was asked if he's jealous of his friend and collaborator curing Kanye's anti-Semitism. In light of recent news, I have to start by asking if you're jealous that Jonah Hill cured Kanye's anti-Semitism. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He could have it. <laughs> Happy to be left out of that one. <laughs> but you know what? Good. <laughs> Cured. <laughs> shut up, cuz. You know? Good. You know, they should send that. He said, shut up, cuz. Oh, my God. Do you think, do you think it's possible at all? Especially, pun, uh, as somebody that's, that knows the ins and outs of the music industry, you think it's possible Kanye can come back after everything? Yes. You think Kanye. so? Yes. All he needs to do is just have a banger. That's it, bro. He just got to chill for a minute and let the, let the shit die down. How long is a minute, though? I mean, he rich, bro. He's straight. He rich. He could, he could take a Kendrick break. Five years, come back? Yeah. He don't got to put out no music right now. That shit is crazy, though. He can produce. He don't got to, like, rap. Five years, it, it, it goes fast. In the music it does. Way. It does go super fast though. But that right. shit is. All right, let's move on. Niggas be working on their albums. How for many? Two, three years. How many niggas have turned down a, a Kanye beat? Nobody. Body. Exactly. So he got. It. And Adidas just gave them the money back so they can like sell through the Yeezys. Well, they got too many shoes. Over. They gotta sell the motherfuckers. So they, they got. They gave him a bag for that. So he just got more money. You know, you make music. Man. 